30 interesting devices that people often talk about when learning about digital security, wireless systems, signals, and modern gadgets. This video is only for awareness and education, nothing harmful, nothing illegal. So sit back, stay curious, and let's begin. Proxmark 3. Proxmark 3 is widely known for RFID study and development, especially among students learning about radio frequency authentication. With this device, one can explore how ID badges communicate, how hotel cards store numbers, and how wireless readers verify access. It can scan or emulate contactless cards, making it useful in labs where engineers test new card systems. Instead of guessing how security works, learners can truly see the communication structure. Used responsibly, it encourages companies and developers to build stronger, more protected systems. Wi-Fi Pineapple Wi-Fi Pineapple is a lightweight network analysis tool used mainly for Wi-Fi auditing and research. It helps security teams understand how wireless networks behave in crowded places, like offices or cafes, and how signals react to interference. With it, professionals can detect weak encryption, observe drop packets, and improve router protection. In workshops, students learn why public Wi-Fi needs caution and why strong firewalls matter. Instead of harmful use, it promotes awareness of safe browsing and secure authentication, a valuable education tool for anyone exploring network behavior responsibly. RFID Reader Module The RC5 View i2 is one of the most popular beginner RFID modules, commonly used in electronics projects with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. People use it to build attendance systems, smart locks, or identity verification models. Its compact design helps new learners understand signal reading, data blocks, and card addressing. Schools include it in robotics and automation experiments because it is affordable and easy to program. By exploring RFID through hands-on practice, a student can grasp communication technology faster. The module helps transform ideas into functional prototypes without complexity. Key Croc Key Croc is a small educational USB device designed to support research into typing input and behavioral monitoring. It helps digital forensics teams study how keyboard data travels inside a machine and how suspicious input devices can be detected. Ethical use teaches awareness, why unknown USB devices should never be trusted, and how to secure personal computers. It highlights the importance of privacy, password safety, and controlled device access. Instead of misuse, Key Croc is used for awareness workshops where people learn safe device handling and threat recognition. IC Card Reader IC card readers are everyday tools used by companies, banks, and offices to read information from smart access cards or chip-based IDs. They make employee management easier by allowing smooth access, attendance logging, and card renewal. Organizations also use them for secure printing, payment token verification, or membership tracking. These devices encourage digital record keeping and reduce paperwork. For new learners, it becomes a gateway to smart card programming, encryption standards, and secure authentication techniques, simple yet highly helpful in modern workplaces. Shark Jack. Shark Jack is a pocket-sized network tester known for its speed and efficiency. I technicians use it to check firewall rules, network segmentation, and switch performance. It collects diagnostic details and helps teams discover configuration errors faster. With proper authorization, it can evaluate a network's health and suggest improvement points. In classrooms, it teaches routing principles and network mapping in a visual way. Its strength lies in simplicity. Plug, review, analyze. A tool that saves time and improves awareness of safe infrastructure planning. USB Killer Pro Kit. This device is designed for stress testing hardware ports against sudden voltage spikes. Manufacturers and lab testers use it to see whether laptops, kiosks, or ATMs can survive abnormal electrical discharge. Instead of harmful misuse, it encourages durable port design and proper surge protection. Many modern devices improve because such testers exposed weaknesses in earlier models. Ubertooth One. Ubertooth One is a well-known Bluetooth development platform used to analyze how wireless signals interact in real time. It helps researchers view packet flow, device discovery, and communication handshake sequences. With it, learners understand why encryption is necessary and how Bluetooth peripherals pair securely. It is often present in hackathons and wireless communication courses 
where students explore frequency hopping, range limitations, and noise effects. A helpful way to visualize what usually stays invisible to the human eye. Radio signals in motion. Flipper Zero. Flipper Zero is a compact multi-tool for learning about digital protocols like RFID, IR, sub-GH signals, and GPIO control. Many hobbyists use it to automate small remote tasks or interact with IoT gadgets in an experimental environment. It makes technical concepts enjoyable, especially for beginners who enjoy testing doors, sensors, electronic locks, and smart devices. The interface is simple, the learning curve is friendly, and creativity becomes limitless. Used wisely, it develops problem-solving skills and introduces users to wireless communication in a fun, responsible way. Dual Band Wi-Fi USB Adapter This adapter upgrades devices to 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands, improving speed during video calls, online classes, or work. It benefits older laptops lacking strong wireless cards, giving them smoother streaming and reduced disconnection rates. For gamers and remote workers, stable internet means better productivity and lower lag. The device is plug and play, easy to carry, and great for travel. An affordable performance boost for everyday connectivity needs. Packet Squirrel. Packet Squirrel is a small portable device that iTeams use for encrypted network analysis and traffic logging. It supports VPN routing, diagnostic capture, and offline review. Corporate security departments use it to investigate slow networks, monitor policy compliance, and maintain secure administration. For learners, it translates complex networking into understandable steps, capture, review, strengthen. It promotes responsible diagnostics and network transparency. SimMaker. SimMaker tools are used by telecom engineers to configure, duplicate, or troubleshoot SIM cards for legal network purposes. They assist in activating new mobile numbers, creating backups, and restoring faulty cards. Instead of shady use, they maintain communication stability and help customers recover lost SIM profiles. It teaches how subscriber identity modules store information and how mobile networks validate users a specialized tool for telecom professionals. Key fobs are rewritable tags used in hotels, offices, and apartment access systems. Their versatility allows administrators to reprogram them when granting or revoking access. They reduce the need for physical locks, making security more flexible and manageable. Businesses adopt them because they are durable, reusable, and low cost. They help developers build smooth entry systems with minimal complexity. Data Blocker A data blocker is a USB middleware that allows charging without enabling data transfer. It protects against unknown devices attempting to sync or read information when connected. People traveling through airports, cafes, or shared chargers often carry it for peace of mind. This tiny adapter blocks digital risks in the most simple way. Power only, no data a basic but highly practical digital safety accessory. Wi-Fi Nugget. Wi-Fi Nugget is a tiny colorful learning device designed to make wireless communication fun for beginners. It helps users understand how Wi-Fi signals move, how devices connect to routers, and how data travels across networks. People use it in home labs, workshops, or tech classrooms to perform playful tests such as signal range, experiments, or custom automation tasks. Its open source nature lets hobbyists install different firmware, track packets, or visualize basic network patterns. Even younger learners enjoy it because it feels more like a toy than a tool. But behind the cute body is serious educational value. It inspires creativity, teaches wireless awareness, and builds curiosity toward ethical technology research. Hacking Elite Cable. Despite the strong name, the Hacking Elite Cable is mainly a professional debugging and repair cable. Engineers use it to analyze motherboard output, recover firmware, and view boot logs when a device stops working. It assists in unbricking phones, flashing test firmware, and understanding work communication, which is helpful for students studying hardware architecture. Instead of misuse, it is valued in repair shops, where technicians revive faulty devices and reduce e-waste. The cable teaches how data pins, power lines, and serial interfaces communicate with each other. For curious learners, it opens a door into deeper chip-level understanding. 
And for professionals, it becomes a reliable tool in hardware diagnosis. Cyber Chatter Cyber Chatter modules allow short-range digital communication experiments, perfect for school projects and hobby builds. Two units can exchange signals like tiny walkie-talkies, letting users test message sending, reception timing, and frequency intervals. Students often connect them to sensors or displays to create mini-alert systems or interactive communication toys. It teaches basics of radio protocol, bit transmission, and antenna effects in a very hands-on way. The simplicity encourages exploration without overwhelming new learners. Many people use cyber chatter to demonstrate how wireless messaging works long before moving into bigger radio systems. M5 Stick M5 Stick is a small but powerful IoT board packed with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sensors, storage, and a tiny screen. Makers use it to build fitness counters, weather stations, alarm systems, or gesture-based controls. It runs on easy programming libraries, so even teens can experiment without heavy coding knowledge. Because it's modular, you can attach GPS, microphones, buttons, or expansion units and keep your project portable in pocket size. Many classrooms introduce students to M5 Stick because it encourages creativity, logical thinking, and engineering mindset. In the world of IoT prototyping, this device bridges imagination with reality, quickly and with very little effort. RFID Writer Kit with Tags This kit helps users write and configure RFID cards for offices, workshops, or controlled spaces. It includes reader-writer hardware and multiple blank tags for testing. Companies use it to assign entry permissions to staff or temporary visitors without replacing locks. The kit teaches how data blocks are stored, how UIDs work, and why encryption protects card identity. For developers, it is a perfect practice setup to build attendance systems, door automation, or event access badges. It also encourages safe handling by showing how authentication works behind the scenes. A complete starter package for real, structured learning in the RFID field. ESP Key ESP Key is a Wi-Fi-powered automation module often used inside smart homes and DIY control projects. Its tiny size allows it to slip behind switches or panels, giving wireless control through smartphone apps or cloud dashboards. Makers connect it to lights, locks, motion sensors, or relays to create custom automation scenes. It introduces students to MQTT, API calls, and remote firmware updates, all essential parts of IoT development. More than just a gadget, ESP Key teaches how modern homes can communicate intelligently and save energy through scheduled use. Universal Remote Control A universal remote reduces clutter by replacing multiple device remotes with a single programmable unit. It can learn infrared signals from TVs, ACs, media players, and set-top boxes, meaning one controller handles everything. This is helpful for families, elders, and minimalists who prefer simplicity over confusion. Some people pair it with smart hubs, allowing voice commands or smartphone pairing for even greater accessibility. Instead of jumping between buttons on different remotes, one smooth device manages entire home entertainment. Blue Driver Blue Driver plugs directly into a car's OBD2 port and works with a mobile app to display real-time vehicle health statistics. It can read engine codes, air fuel ratio, temperature sensors, ABS faults, and emissions data. This helps drivers discover issues early, sometimes before the mechanic even checks. It can track mileage performance and report how smooth or rough the engine is running over time. Many people use it for regular maintenance and road trip safety. For automobile learners, Blue Driver is like opening the car's hidden diary, full of small details that improve care, fuel efficiency, and long-term reliability. Thetis Pro Thetis Pro is a fingerprint-secured authentication key made for safe login on major platforms. Instead of typing passwords that may leak or be guessed, users simply tap their fingerprint to access accounts. This reduces phishing dangers and keeps private emails, work files, or social accounts locked behind biometric identity. Students in cybersecurity often study such devices to understand multi-factor authentication, encryption handling, and secure token generation. LoRa ES32 V3 LoRa ES32 V3 modules enable long-distance IoT communication where Wi-Fi cannot reach, such as farms, factories, or rural environments. They use ultra-low power, meaning sensors can run for months on single batteries while sending data quietly across kilometers. 
Many people use these modules to monitor soil humidity, water levels, temperature, or livestock movement. The board teaches message routing, antenna tuning, and packet forwarding across relay nodes. IODD SD400. IODD SD400 is a secure portable storage enclosure designed for carrying sensitive files like backups, research data, or client documents. It supports virtual disk mounting, encrypted containers, and password-protected partitions, making it safer than ordinary USB drives. IT professionals use it to transport logs, server images, or forensic snapshots without exposing data to risk. Some units also detect tampering and lock themselves automatically. In educational environments, it helps students understand safe storage, virtualization, and digital confidentiality. A trustworthy companion for people who handle valuable information every day. Punk MPZ02. The Punk MPZ02 is a simple phone made for people who want less distraction and more real life. It focuses on calling, texting, and basic connectivity without social media. Games or constant notifications. Writers, travelers, and students admire it because it brings peace from digital noise. Battery life lasts much longer than typical smartphones, and build quality often feels premium. Many see it as a reset device, something that helps one slow down, think clearly, and appreciate offline living. It represents a calm lifestyle choice rather than hardware power. Packet Sniffer A packet sniffer is a network diagnostic tool used to analyze how data flows between devices. IT teams use it to locate slow routers, congested ports, or unstable applications. It teaches learners how packets carry information, hop from node to node, and sometimes get lost. When used responsibly in authorized environments, sniffers make networks healthier, safer, and more efficient. They are key to understanding traffic patterns, shaping bandwidth, and improving large business infrastructure. A powerful utility for engineers who protect communication systems every day. Hardware Keylogger In the cybersecurity world, hardware keyloggers are shown to students as awareness tools. They demonstrate how typing information could be recorded if a device is mismanaged or left unprotected. Ethical training teaches people to recognize suspicious devices, monitor physical security, and avoid plugging unknown USB tools. This education results in stronger defense habits everywhere. Offices, homes, schools. Instead of misuse, keyloggers strengthen security literacy by showing how sensitive data must be guarded, a lesson in caution rather than chaos. Xzimimark Ghost Sensor Device Zimimark ghost sensor devices detect motion, presence, or hand gesture, and are often used in automatic doors, lighting systems, or robotics builds. They respond to movement without physical touch, making them practical for hygiene-focused environments like hospitals. Students use them in science fairs to create smart lamps, distance alarms, or interactive art displays. They teach signal filtering, sensor calibration, and microcontroller integration. With just a few wires and imagination, a simple sensor becomes a hands-free automation system, inspiring creativity in young innovators. If these are only the beginning, what kind of devices will exist five years from now? Smarter, smaller, faster? That answer is waiting in the future. If you enjoyed this calm educational breakdown, drop a like to support the channel. Subscribe for more tech awareness, gadget exploration, and learning-focused videos like this. Stay curious, stay smart, and remember, technology is powerful only when used responsibly. See you in the next one.